if the com if the label was smart, I feel like what they would do right now is say, you know what, we've had this long hiatus. If we want to make a splash, we need to make a splash. I think they should release just release this like massive ridiculous 20 track album or something just like this is everglow we're back and just throw this like insane amount of content us in one go and just like make a statement make it an absolute statement Welcome to my YouTube channel, Brick Hip Hop Reacts, and today we are doing the incredible, the glorious Everglow once again, my alt group. Um, there has been a ton, a ton of stuff that's come out this week uh, all over the world of K-pop. Um, and as is always the case, I'm here at the weekend, uh, ready to go back and react to everything that's happened this week. Um, and there has been a lot. There has been a lot. There's been a lot of comebacks and stuff been released. So there's a lot of stuff I need to cover. However, priorities i'm aware of my priorities and my priorities of course my old group everglow um i will naturally put them first so the first thing i'm sat here doing reacting to uh today despite all the content that has come out this week is the everglow dance practice because we need to get on this thing it is uh a dance practice of their um fire performance the 21 21's fire which they performed at the hmas um uh, i've not fully seen that performance yet i've seen clips and things but i've not seen like i'm assuming there's a full video somewhere of it but i've not actually sat down and watched it yet uh the performance i thought it'd be cool to do this dance practice and check it out and stuff so that is what i'm doing today if you are new here hello if you're an everglow fan if you are forever please do check out my previous everglow reactions there are a ton on the channel naturally as i say they are my alt group uh one of my two alt groups uh the first one of the two <laughs> to become alt group um they have been my alt since i saw them live last year they've always been right at the top of my of my sort of rankings if you will um, but when I saw them live at uh, the Hell You Fest, they took over top spot. Um, they've been there ever since. Um, I absolutely adore this group. And as a result, there are a ton of reactions. Please do check out those, all the, that good stuff and catch up on my Everglow journey thus far. That would be awesome. Of course, guys, if you enjoy this reaction, please drop us a like, drop us a comment, and of course, subscribe. To my lovely self, join the royal family, become a royal yourself. I do have a donation page now if you want to get involved with that on Coffee, Kofi, however you pronounce it. Um, the link is in the description below, of course. Jump on my Discord, guys, all that good stuff. I'm not going to spend too long plugging because I really, really want to check this thing out. So with all that being said, we are just going to get straight into this thing. It is Everglow time! Let's do this! So this is the magnificent Everglow with uh, Fire by 21, their cover of it. The dance practice that they released earlier in the week. I am ready. Have I got my speakers on? Yes. Let's, let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so Mia No no <laughs> no Immediately Why did they have to have Mia start in this thing? I'm <sighs> Right I'm gonna start this all over again. <laughs> I'm gonna start this all over again. I can't you can't throw in in my face and expect me to be able to cope. Right off the bat. <laughs> She's wonderful. Uh, the way she comes in. Oh. I love that they got her to do that opening line. I both love it and hate it because it's painful, but it's also wonderful. Um, She's incredible. She's absolutely incredible. I, I, I did get a message on it for anyone that didn't see my Twitter post. I got a... Um, I've, I'm on Weverse. Um, I'm on Weavers. You'll see me on there because I'm literally called Brick K-pop React on on Weavers, and um, I've got like responses from the girls occasionally <clears throat> um, on comments. And I comment on some of the posts and stuff like that, and I think I've got one response from Xion in the past, and then just a ton of responses from Mia. Like Mia is the one that I get happily for me because she's my bias. I get like all bias, all bias, <laughs> not even just a bias at all. Uh, queen of the alts, if you will. I've I've named her recently. I've got four alts. Mia is queen. <laughs> that says it all. Um, but yeah, like Mia, I've had a ton of result, uh, responses from her in the past where she's like commented back and cheered my posts and things like that, which is just incredible. Like it's a wonderful feeling to get that kind of interaction with those idols. And obviously I, I met her during the Hell You Fest and stuff because I had the VIP. So I find Mia to be within those kind of personal reactions and everything that I've experienced with Mia 
I just find her to be such a wonderful person, like such a genuinely lovely person. She's one of those idols that like seems like she really loves to give back. Like she loves to interact with fans. She loves all that. Like the other night I was uh, chatting and this is where I'll get to <laughs> how it links to this in a minute. But I was on Weaver, so like she was posting on Weaver. Some of you guys are probably there. We'll probably comment in as well. She couldn't sleep um, and she was posting on Weavers. And I was commenting and things, dropping the comments and stuff like that. And she kept cheering them. Like she was cheering everyone's comments and stuff. She was commenting back to tons of them. Um, and it was just a really nice experience. I don't know if anyone else was on there and had that same kind of feel, but I, like, you know, I sat there for like two hours just like commenting and stuff and watched, reading these comments from everyone, all, all the other people that were on there and, and Mia herself and stuff. And it was just a wonderful little kind of conversation and, and it was just a, a wonderful feel to the whole thing. Like it, it felt like just a nice chat <laughs> amongst friends, you know, it was that kind of uh, vibe that that I felt from that. And it was, it was just, it highlights to me how wonderful she is. Um, and <laughs> she commented back to me at one point because I mentioned the uh, reaction. I can't remember why I mentioned it, but I mentioned that I was doing a reaction to the dance practice. And she commented me back saying, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> now, I don't know, realistically, if she's ever going to watch it or ever going to see it. But if you are watching me, <laughs> if you are watching, hello, hello, welcome to my channel. Um, but yeah, I, I just, I had all this one. Anyway, <laughs> let's watch the flipping video. I have to have my Mia moment. It's a thing in all my videos. I'm, I apologise. I'll try and stop. Let's go. <sighs> yeah, I can't do it. Look at that. Oh. I'm so ready for this. Oh, that's Everglow in 21 is genius. Whoever came up with that, genius move. Look at E, oh my God, look at you. She looks incredible. The bangs and everything, oh mate, that is a look. Yes, it was. OT6 baby! OT6! Yes! Love to see it. We love to see it. Oh my god. Go on, see him. Go on, see him. Mate, they're killing it. <laughs> oh my god, it makes me so happy. <laughs> yeah, the walk! <laughs> oh, boss! Bosses! The little clap. The little clap. Oh my god, it's adorable. The badass and fierce and everything all at once. Get under with the pigtails, mate. Oh, yes! They all look incredible. <laughs> oh my god. I can't do it. Oh jeez, stop. The walk, mate, the walk. Oh my god. Oh, they're so perfect. They're so perfect, it hurts. Oh, they... oh my God, they hurt. They... They, did... they utterly destroyed me. They really did. I... I can't understand. And this is what really frustrates me, I think, about everything. Um, and I'm not as heavy on the whole hate train that's come about as as a result of obviously the, the long hiatus and stuff. I'm not as heavy as some people on it, but part of the frustration for me is just how incredible this group are. And I feel like if we're talking about kind of underrated groups or groups that go under the radar, I feel like, like at this point, I feel like Everglow are in that category because 
simply because they haven't been pushed enough. Well, that's all it comes down to. Just give me a sec. <laughs> I've just realised my camera looks a bit low. It was slightly low. Um, yeah, that's all it comes down to, is that they just haven't been given the opportunity to flourish as much as they should. Like, because of, obviously, this long hiatus. And I know there have been reasons for, you know, throughout with some of it, you know, in terms of, like, Iran's absence and things and stuff like that. Obviously, they've, they've been doing concerts and things. I get that. Like, you know, they haven't been doing nothing, which is good. Um, but at the same time, it's obviously hurt them in terms of that reputation, particularly, you know, in the career market and things like that. They are a very international group. I do feel like they still have a huge following, a very passionate fan base and stuff. Um, and I think that shows from when they do these concerts and stuff, just how many people turn up and things like that and how much support they get. Um, the fact that they've won this award at the HMAs and stuff, despite being out for 14 months, like that's some like proper queen behavior. And I absolutely love that. But I think all that is testament to the fact that this group are special. They have something special that and it, it would be painful <laughs> for me if they were to be wasted because of a company that don't push them enough. You know, the fact that we've not had light a light stick yet, the fact that they don't do things like seasons greetings and stuff, we don't get stuff like that. You know, all those little things that, you know, the fact that we don't get as much content as maybe we should, like, all of those things just make me think, like, if if we just, if they were just given all that stuff, you know, like, think where they would be. They would be top of the game. They would be one of the absolute top groups. I truly believe that because the talent the charisma, everything they have just just screams superstar. <laughs> like to me, it really does. And I just want them to be given the chance to reach those heights that I know they can and I know they would if they were given those opportunities. Um, and hopefully we will still see that. I'm assuming, like I say, we're hoping that they're gearing up for a comeback. Um, I ho I'm hoping that's the case. They all look incredible <laughs> right now, so I wouldn't be surprised if that is the case. Um, I'm just ready, man. I'm just, I'm just, I'm ready for this group to take me over all over again. And they already have, <laughs> obviously. They still are. They still are in the, pro you know, like, I'm, I'm completely and utterly taken over. And yeah, I, I, you know, I need, I'm ready now. <laughs> I'm ready to fall into their world once again with new music, with, you know, hoping we get a full album, like all that stuff. Just give us everything. Give us, if, wait, wait, if, if the, com if the label was smart, I feel like what they would do right now is say, you know what, we've had this long hiatus. If we want to make a splash, we need to make a splash. I think they should release, just release this like massive, ridiculous 20 track album or something. Just like, this is Everglow, we're back. And just throw this like insane amount of content us in one go. And just like make a statement, make it an absolute statement. When I think of like haters in the past, I think of Blackpink coming back. Like, yes, the album was a statement, but people weren't happy about the eight-track thing. It was it, it maybe wasn't as much as it could have been. Idol's comeback was huge after their hiatus. Dropping a song like Tomboy, like, either you need a song that's going to absolutely murder everyone or you need just some, just a statement album or something like that. Some, like, if they were to drop just a, a huge album, <laughs> like, just completely unprecedented, just throw 20 tracks at us. Why not? Just do it. Deluxe massive insane album get everyone talking about everglow again that's what i feel like we need um and i'm ready for it man i'm ready <laughs> i'm ready just give us give us something guys we need something right now the this group are too good they're too good i i miss them <laughs> i miss them i want them i like i just yeah they're for me just the greatest thing in k-pop and i need more <laughs> i need more right now with that being said guys Leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Please, if you enjoyed this reaction, drop us a like, drop us a comment, and of course, subscribe to my lovely self. Join the royal family, become a royal yourself. Get in the comments, guys. As always, share your thoughts about Everglow. I always love to talk about Everglow naturally. They all know all groups. Please do get involved. All of the forevers. I feel like I don't know enough of you. I don't know en enough forevers. And uh, there are some that pop on my Twitter posts and stuff that I do about Everglow um, occasionally. So, I want to see all those people. <laughs> I want to interact with all of you lots. Please do get involved. That would be awesome. And I'll see you next time, guys. For the next one, Sunday, I love you all. Goodbye.